Hello everybody and welcome to a new speed paint that I decided to do before I took off for vacation. Um, first and foremost I want to apologize right away because my camera didn't seem to want to focus at all which I guess doesn't surprise me. I've been having a lot of problems with it ever since I've gotten it. I have absolutely no control over the camera itself so I can't focus it or anything. can't zoom in, can't zoom out. It was just a poor purchase I guess but for what it is you know I'm still able to get some video and you guys can still kind of see my process until I can figure something else out I keep hoping that I'll come across a an application or something that'll help me to have more control over my camera or that I can figure out exactly what it is I'm supposed to do to make it work I think if I pull the camera away from the photo a little bit more or the picture then maybe it'll work out but this, uh, this picture in particular, I just decided I wanted to do something a little bit more romantic than, well, not necessarily more so than my normal stuff, but just something a little bit more romantic than I've been doing. Um, I really do enjoy drawing couples together in nice, um, loving positions and whatever, but uh, I just so rarely ever feel like I can do it without some sort of justification like oh I have to have a big story behind it but for this one I just kind of went with it um I wanted to do something cute and I did and I really enjoyed it it took me about roughly an hour and a half to do the entire thing and then I got my video down to um just 12 little minutes here so I mean yeah um, her skin tone turned out okay. I I was going for like a lighter skin tone than he is and I think I achieved that. I, I kind of wanted to give an idea of different ethnicities without being like to the extreme and I mean there's nothing wrong with the extremes but I just kind of wanted it to be more subtle because I didn't want that to be the focus of the picture. Obviously the positioning and everything like that is supposed to be the focus of the picture but I just realized I draw a lot of Caucasians and not necessarily enough people of color and I've, I'm, I've always kind of been aware of that. I just never really did anything about it and now I'm trying to be more conscientious when I'm going in there and uh, doing my images that maybe it's time to throw some people of color into my work just, you know, because I love everybody, not just Caucasians. <laughs> um, well, that sounds wrong, but that's not what I mean. I hope you guys understand what I mean. Don't mean it that way. Please don't take offense. I'm just trying to be equal in my representation with my art is what I'm trying to say. I struggled a bit here because I wanted to use, I really wanted to use that light aqua as the um, base color for the white, like the shading color and everything, but getting it to blend with that blue was just like, ooh, wasn't happening. And I... I was kind of at this point, I was like, you know, I've ruined it, let's just quit. But I told myself, no, we're going to push through, we're going to see it to the end and see what happens. Because we, be, we might be able to pull this off. I just couldn't figure out how. I just told myself I couldn't give up at this point, I needed to just keep going because it didn't, it didn't look terrible, but it didn't look good either. So I just figured, alright, learning experience, we'll just keep going with this and, you know, we can always scrap the video and try something else. So I pushed through and I'm really glad I did because I think in the end I really managed to pull it off um, once I once I figured out what I was doing. Again, I'm not trained in Copics or anything like that. I just kind of go in there and play with them until they do what I want them to and they don't always do what, they, what you want them to. A lot of times they don't. You just kind of have to le learn to work with them and figure it out. I switched over to the chisel tip to just kind of save myself some time and since I knew it was going to be a water background from the very beginning I was okay with the streaks being in it. Normally that those streaks would annoy me and I'd have worked harder to get them out but there was no point just because I knew I was going to be going in with other blues and other light colors to sort of bring them all together like I am here. And unfortunately, again, I'm in a position where I don't have enough blues really to do the representation of water that I would have liked to have done. But I made what I had work, and I tried to make up with it with color pencil later on. 
and I think I managed to pull it off. I just kind of wanted to give the general idea of, hey, they're in water, and the title of this artwork is The Lake Couple, so I was like, yeah, as long as, as, long as they get the idea that the people are in water, I'm happy. Oh, what else can I talk about? Getting the water to look like it was, like the clothing to look like it was sticking to them because it was wet was very difficult, and I'm not sure I pulled that off, but I think it looks good. I think it looks okay. I, I started figuring things out, like right about this point, um, how to kind of make it look like there's still cloth underneath the water and everything like that. I just, I really think I managed to pull it together with that. And then at that point, I was just like, let's leave the water alone for a second and move on to something else that I know. And hair, of course, is one of my favorite things to do. And I think I'm relatively decent at it. I wanted to give her sort of a tawny brown hair. And I think it ends up looking more chocolate than anything. And um, yeah, you keep seeing my camera trying to focus a little bit there. And then it immediately falls right out of focus. I'm so upset. But there I go, I'm adding some highlights, or well, I'm adding the mid-tone really, and bringing out the highlights a little bit. And hair is just, to me, so much fun because it, it doesn't follow any rules. I mean, yeah, you're going to have your little guidelines for reflection and everything, but it's, it's okay if it doesn't make 110% um, sense. So, yeah. And then I'm going in with my darker chocolate color and just trying to bring out some of those shades. It's supposed to be a sunny day picture, so I really, really wanted to have some nice rich chocolates in there. And um, I really just kind of wanted to give it a very bright feeling as much as I could, but I still wanted to have depth, depth especially to the hair and stuff like that. Oh, okay. And I got her eyebrow there. Yeah. Always got to color that eyebrow. I tend to color my eyebrows the color of the hair. I don't just leave it as black, so. And now I'm kind of working at trying to m make the hair make more sense, trying to bring in some more details, some more lines and everything, which I always do. But typically I bring out most of the lines and everything with color pencil. And then I move on to his hair, and I decided to get... I was initially going to make him blonde, but then I was like, no, no, I don't want to do blonde. I think I want to do a black-haired person, because I so rarely ever draw black-haired people. It's usually brown or blonde, so I was like, all right, let's 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 give this a try. I was just really hard, because I felt like he looked like an old man for the longest time, because I started with that mid-tone gray. And I was like, no, he looks like an old man. She can't be, well, she could be with an old man. Maybe she's a gold digger. Who knows? There's no story behind it. But uh, as I worked in those um, darker blacks and later on with the color pencil, I think I feel like I really brought out the hair really well with him. And it was really nice because even though it's not a stark contrast to her, it still works really well with her coloration. I'm just so happy with it. And here I'm just trying to bring out some of the highlights in the water. Um just white color pencil um just a little bit of reflection of white sun and I'm trying to bring out some more reflection from uh, the clothing and everything because everything casts reflections and then I bring in my blending pencil which I just got today and I used for this piece and I feel like it helped quite a bit and it made things look like really nice um, I found it to be a useful tool. It, it wasn't like everything I was hoping it would be. I kind of put a lot of emphasis on what I feel like a blender should do, but um, it did a good job. It, it blended it and brought things in and out that I really wanted to. It kind of pulled some color into other colors, which was nice. And then I brought in a dark blue for the water, just to kind of bring in some more shading and some more darkness to that water. Um, ultimately, it just kind of looks like a really blue lake and that's fine you know I dig it <laughs> I'm okay with it and then I'm working his clothing a little bit more to try and make it have that wet appearance to it and I realize that the video doesn't really pick it up very much but I tried I just kept working with those aqua colors to try and keep the blue from the water separate from the blue reflection of the um, clothing but ultimately, I pulled some of that blue from the water into the clothing reflect or those clothing folds to kind of give it that wet look. 
and I feel like it definitely helped but I think if I'd have done like some flesh colors or something it really would have brought that out some more I just didn't want to mess up what I already had so I kind of ended up leaving it alone and I yeah was happy and it was about this point that I realized that the little folds from her dress that kind of are bubbling back up kind of look like little icebergs poking out but it's okay because I think it's really cute Oh, what else can we talk about? Um, just getting those gentle shades. I think white is one of the hardest things to shade because you don't want to give it a gray sort of shading to everything because, you know, after a while that just gets dull and not everything, not all shadows are gray, you know. So I really wanted to use those aqua shadows just to kind of give it a, a different sense of dimension. And I really feel like it kind of gave it a softer feel. It really pulled the fact that it's in water up into the clothing. And I think here I'm sitting um, trying to decide what color to use for her hair because it is that chocolate color and I didn't want to go too dark but I didn't want to go too light. So I was kind of poking around my colored pencils trying to figure that one out. Which was somewhat difficult but it was fun at the same time. It's kind of like a puzzle. Definitely brought out the black in his hair with uh, just the black color pencil. And now I'm going in with a dark umber with hers. Um, just adding those little details and blending them in. Those little details, I feel like, make the, the piece feel quite alive. Like individual strands of hair. It just It adds a dimension that um, normally would be lacking, I feel, if I just left it to my markers. Favorite part, adding the lipstick love adding the lipstick and then of course adding the nail polish <laughs> and then I felt like a nice turquoise um, jewelry would bring it out so we're coming to the end of the video here I'm to the point where I'm just using my jelly roll to add some more reflections in the water if you like the video feel free to comment like subscribe leave a message um, yeah and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one